Hi, Adam here. I recently watched a video by Tommy Edison, a YouTuber who has been blind since birth. In it, he described trouble understanding colors. People often describe colors in terms of emotions and ideas. Red is love or anger, blue is calmness or cold. But the problem is, the ideas and emotions that we associate with different colors are different depending on the culture or even the person. So today I'm hoping to describe color in terms of sound. If you're blind and are listening to this video, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a comment below and let me know if this is helpful or if there's something that I should be doing differently. So why use sound to describe color? They have something in common. Sound can come in different frequencies, from low to high, and everything in between. Light also comes in different frequencies, and Colors are just names for frequency ranges. Starting down low, we would have red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. How do we tell all these apart? Well, the truth is, we only tend to agree on high-level color names, like the six that I've just given you. In between them, it gets a little confusing. For example, if this is yellow, and this is green. What's this in between? Some people would say it's yellow. Other people would say it's green. And still other people would give it a new name like lime or chartreuse. Also, to be clear, I'm not saying that sound and color are the same, just that they have different frequencies and that's a property they have in common. Another property that sound and light have in common, in common is intensity. Sound can be quiet, or it can be loud, or anywhere in between. Light can be dim, or bright, or anywhere in between. Loud sound and bright light are both easier to perceive from far away. Now we're getting to an area where hearing and vision are different. Hearing is not very precise at telling where in the room a sound is coming from. You get a rough direction, but it's not that precise. But hearing is precise at telling frequencies apart. For example, this one note sounds different than two notes played far apart. Vision is kind of the opposite. It's good at telling exactly where in a room light is coming from, but it's not very good at telling frequencies of light apart. For example, if an object emits yellow light and another object emits both red and green light at the same time, our eyes will see them both as if they were yellow, almost like it's averaging the two frequencies together. This leads to black and white. Black is just the absence of all light. White, however, is the combination of all the frequencies. When it comes to sound, that doesn't sound very musically pleasing. But our eyes combine all the frequencies together and we perceive it as a single pure color that we call white. Next, I wanted to address something in our language. We say things make sound. This piano makes this noise. The sound comes from the piano. But we wouldn't say that the piano is the sound, just that the sound comes from it. That's not true of color. For some reason, we say, my shirt is blue. In both cases, color and sound are just properties of a thing. Just because two things have the same color doesn't mean they necessarily have any other properties in common. Just like if two things make the same sound, they don't necessarily have other properties in common. Lastly, I wanted to talk a little about transparency. You may wonder how it is that we can see through solid objects. But if you think about it, it's not as confusing as you might think. If a truck drives by my house outside, I can hear it even though there are solid walls between me and the truck. The sound passes right through. While most materials actually do block light, some materials, like glass and certain kinds of plastic, 
allow light to pass through. We call those transparent. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below, and if I get enough questions, I might make another video. Thanks for stopping by.